We are at this old elementary school. Fixing to go inside and check it out. Welcome to another video. Alrighty, which way are we going? So the elder school. And these are the original, originals, original floor, floor and seats. seats. <coughs> wow. Except for the blue chairs and all those. Yeah. The windows. Oh yeah. So it's ruined almost all the sashes. On the side of the outside of the walls, yeah. So this is the this is just natural, right? This dip. Uh they you know, so when they had the auditorium was built like this. Oh yes they were to drop down for then they have to do something with the uh acoustics, acoustics yes. For, for, viewing. for viewing people in the back so they won't be, you know, behind somebody. But this is awesome. Wow, the rail for the curtains even still there. What what gets me is now how long how long was this vacant? I mean, somebody had owned it, but like before you came along, because I re I read where there was a there was a I guess you would say argument because yes. a guy a guy came along and said, well, this was on his land that the, he owned, and Sandler. then. And then he didn't. Yes, he didn't. Uh, he didn't fess up to it, or, or about a certain length of time, and then it went back to the city or the state no. or something. I was, I was, Nothing at all. I was just reading. He, was, he this guy named just Chandler. He owns all the trailer parks behind it. Okay. So he thinks he has eminent domain because the schools closed and they didn't. Uh, and so he thinks if. No one used the school for ten years or something. Then it would automatically go to him. Oh, okay. But no, the school was put into a trust, and it was sold off. And uh, we had to contact all the heirs of the school because they ceased to do um, educational services. I'm just trying not get that in your face. It's all right. I can't see anyway. <laughs> And since they ceased to do educational services, uh, it reverted back to all the heirs of the school. Wow. Okay, I, was, I was thinking, because only, the only pictures I saw when, when the Tyler News, I guess it was, interviewed yeah. you, and I could see you were in a room, and I saw windows in the back, but I didn't, I'll show you where that is. didn't remember seeing any chalkboards, but there they are. Yeah. And so oh, they had lockers in the room. dirty is we've been repurposing all the lights and some of the conduit and different things like that. So is there, because like in Mineral Wells, the Baker Hotel, you know, they're, wow. they're restoring it. I was going to say, was there still any original furnishings in there, like light no, fix, there any of that no, stuff? No real furnishings or anything left. Um, you can see these classrooms. But again, as I was telling you about how the, the rain. Oh, the yes. The uh, gutters, I so it's kind of ruined some of the plaster. This is kind of a little classroom. Yeah. And the, the heaters. Those were stolen parts of the water. And so uh, they were trying to get all copper and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's going to, yeah. So were that, were, this was, these were these were windows at one time? The, the transoms, yeah. Yeah, the transoms. Yeah, they just painted over one of them. But we've taken out, this classroom is kind of the worst. Um, we've taken out some of the, tra uh, the chalkboards. Some people wanted them historical pieces of the chalkboards. You could see all the old lockers. Yes, I noticed there's lockers in some. I've seen two already. Yeah. And not in not in some. So when it was the elementary school, they used those lockers. Man, little bookcases. Yeah. And so this was the nurse's office over here. And so it had a restroom in it. 
Mm-hmm. In the bathroom. Oh, that was a glass? Yeah. It is. Looks like it's in still in excellent shape. Really to take care of There's just a little storage closet there. Yeah, those uh, the janitor's closets. Water fountains. Water fountains. Mm -hmm. There, yes. Mm -hmm. So this is some of the other classrooms. No. We just left this on the wall. So yeah. I wonder. So it's been since I was like thinking how long it's been since these chalkboards have been written on regularly. Uh, two thousand. I think I read it, but I, so. okay. I think I read it on Dolores. I think Dolores, her little yeah. blog and but yeah. that blog she put up it was September two thousand seventeen. Yeah. So. The school closed. See this right here. I'm glad. I'm glad that there's not an abundance of this in here. Yeah. Well, we only reason why we left some of it up is because we were looking for the tags, so we had the police department come out for, and yeah. trying to find who it was. So we just didn't litter. We get litter and. Oh yeah. So this is a. Those are vents. Oh yes, <coughs> so that's what, and, and that's why places like this and there we've come across that are worse than this. This is this is hardly this is hasn't been touched obviously. Uh, don't people that people that love doing this that don't that do it for the right reasons don't want to divulge the location yeah. for that right there. At one point, this was on abandoned East Texas. Was it? We started telling them, no, this is not a man. And we caught some people down here at the police and had some arrests and posted that. And once that started happening, well, you know, this was, put the cameras up. So this exit back out to so the area we came in, but over there. On the other side, yes. Yeah. I can show you on the yeah, I wonder why they, when, how they painted that. That's those windows. It's like why you put carpet over hardwood floors. Right. That. <laughs> this is just these, these rooms are huge. Yeah. I'm just. You can take your time. I'm going to show you real quickly, and I'm going to let you just explore. Okay. Stay as long as you want. Well, I appreciate it. Hey. I know you got your you got you got to get you ready for your stuff yeah. and find any any old uh, stuff in here old students paperwork or anything. we've already picked all the most of that up you got why uh, cool so that's the old principals I mean the old office and that was the technology room. yeah the, okay this was the teacher's lounge Okay. And coffee machine in there. And <laughs> just a storage here. And janitor closet. Uh, that was the electrical room. And so we got oh, okay. main power for. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad to see it doesn't have a lot of graffiti in it. No, we really. So the, all the rooms are pretty much identical, yes. except for the lockers. Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. I guess this is where they put up bulletin boards. Yes, yeah, so you can see those. We're going to get those right through. The floors are solid. Oh yeah. They're... I think this is the band room here. 
Is it worth the call? Right, to the other side, look the other direction. Oh, wow. I think the hotel doesn't have that. And that, that there's not graffiti. That was, no, that was yeah. from the school. school. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You just picture all the bookcases still yeah. full of books and more water fountains. bad is the roof it's brand new now they got to put a new roof on about oh 10, i think you might have years ago you might have told me that but they didn't put gutters up that right. was a stupid thing right i mean little hangers for your coats and so do you do you have records because i know what you're doing as far as the stuff about which room was which yeah we're getting all that we're finding all the teachers and that's everything. awesome So the other other one we it's saw was boys. on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Okay. The boys restroom. This would have been the girls. Yeah. <laughs> Little bitty stalls. Well, you go around to the other side. There's more. That's huge. Girls bathroom here. Oh yeah. Wow. You know it probably. Probably looks huge to you now, but when you were a little kid that age, it was wasn't didn't seem huge to you then. When you were little, there's a little paper star or something. There. Yeah. That's got somebody's name on it. <coughs> yeah, I think I remember telling you there's a some of our neighbors uh -huh. where we used to live. Uh -huh. Young couple, they they went to school here. Really? I told them about it and. Uh, so I'll give you, let me call them first and uh, ask them. I'm sure they'll, we'll have no problem. You, you just add to your extra, all the other information you're trying to obtain. Yeah. They're probably, probably in their late 40s, mid late 40s. So oh, wow. they went to school here. And the Dolores, as soon as I just got their first, her first name out, I said, oh, Jennifer and Alan? Yeah. My <laughs> Her, her daughter and our friend, the wife, she went, they went to school together, and then his, her husband, and Dolores's uh, mother were real good friends. It's like a small world. Yeah. Here is where they were outside. They would drop the kids off when there was the alternative school. Oh, that's where that covered area where they wait on the bus. And they would come up this way. Uh, they would come up this way and go through the metal detectors. Oh, uh, okay. They'd go through in there and put all their stuff, I guess. All their stuff would be left in here. And then they would. So, was that, that the alternative school or was that was even someone's alternative, alternative school? Yeah. So, the kids would come up to the stairs here. Now, what were the dates on that again? When it was the elementary school, start to finish, and then, because I, I remember reading her stuff. And then because it, it was the alternate alternative school later. Yeah, I'd be lying to you when, if I told you. Right. So, I don't know. Cause I think it was early mid two thousands. Yeah, I think it ended on the. There's a bird. It ended on. Uh, yeah, we gotta get the windows sealed up. Uh, it ended in two thousand eleven or two thousand ten. <laughs> is when it closed. You know, like the old handles. In the yeah. just the manual little latch locks to exactly. now did they have they don't have the uh, counterweights on them to hold them up? Um, them? No, they just kind of had a rest. It. So you yeah. lift it up above it's it and like then the chains in them. I okay, the chains in them. because those windows were going to cost us like yes, that's the 
that that's the most expensive part I've heard when people are doing restoring stuff like this the windows, windows. so that's why we're not going to go for a total full total. yeah we're going to go for a subject matter and so subjects and are have you spoke with uh, his name is Bob Brinkman no you know who that is he's the He's in Austin at the Texas State Historical Commission. He's the, I'm assuming, the head of it. I spoke with him on the phone for uh, some other questions I had about another place I had went the last time we were here. And uh, uh, he gave me a bunch of information, Wonderful. websites, and how he said, yeah, because I asked him if you'd ever heard of such and such little towns. You know, most people don't. He's like, oh, yeah. And, like, and I got to thinking, well, yeah, he's with the Historical Commission, so I'm pretty sure he knows stuff I don't even know. And I've been all over this, this state. I've been everywhere, man. Right. This okay, well, I'm going to let you explore. You can just right. walk through and sit and do what you want to do. And I'm going to get over here and get to work. I appreciate it. And then just holler. Very at much. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the brief walk through. And yeah, I will. You can see here on the top side, too. They had little trailers out there for classrooms and the library. Because so. I think Dolores told me. There was another. There was another building out here. I don't remember if she was talking about here, but I think so. Or the Dansby School. That was Dansby a school, special education school. separate building. Yes. Oh, that was at the other school. Okay. Sorry about trash. Oh, don't worry about it. You're. When you're done, just pull the door shut, and I'll be over here. Okay. Well, thank you. coming in this is the side of the uh, the stage in the uh, auditorium looks like he's he started to redo some electrical and stuff in here and there's some old old rooms or storage on the side of the auditorium where they maybe not a dressing room but look like maybe where they had stored stuff and got ready for their plays that they were going to have it Man, this is the old rail for the the curtain is still here. As you can see, it comes around and there's remnants of the other curtain there. What's left of the old curtain? Backdrop curtain. And then this one looks, I don't know if he's replaced this. Or not yet, but this one still looks in pretty good shape. And out here too, he said these are all the original, original seats as well. I mean everything, the floor is still in excellent condition. The floor is excellent shape. And just the... Uh, or a school I've been in to where it was, you know, still intact to this extent to where, you know, you could probably start having people come to school in here again. That's how uh, excellent a shape it is. And these are all new, newer chairs. These weren't here. But he's going to, I think, simply take this and where they'll have some plays or some kind of a performance of some sort in in here for his business because he has a business out back in part what building what was the cafeteria and it's just the, the old original chairs here in the auditorium and so he, was, yeah, he was telling me that like the windows over here they transom windows painted over them Might see if we we could have any of the old ventilation for heat or AC there. We've got old some kind of control box, probably for the air and heat. And just love how the just like any typical auditorium, the floor goes down at an angle the closer you get and just these old 
old windows that have the handles on them. These aren't the ones that have counterweights on them, but they're still old windows, and they're going to, like I said, restore this, not, not fully, because simply for the cost of the windows to originally restore those, because they redid the roof here, as you think he said earlier, redid the roof here and did not uh, put gutters, so the rain drops off and goes down and there, there's a couple of classrooms that we'll see where uh, it's just dripping and dripping through the wall and eventually just rotting out some, some few sections in the wall. And I'm just, I'm just glad to see that he's doing something to it and there's, it's, there's not a lot of graffiti in here like you commonly see in places like this. There's just a picture of the students sitting out here for their assembly or a play. And here's the other side. There's a air and heat control. And the vent. So now we're going back out to the main hall. And I think this is the entrance right here. So now at the end I'll come out and get a shot of the entrance because it's a cool looking little gable out front. I think he said this here was the was the principal's office and I think he did say he found some when he first bought it. I think he's owned it for two years. I think he said he has found paperwork from students with their names on it and stuff like that and he has kept it. And this looks like there's some some old books grade 8 interactive reader and some old picture there's some names I had Jane Holland Danny Stanley you can see Carrie Scott Barbara Lewis so if you're come across this my video here and you know who any of these folks are and if you know where this school is at it is being restored and he the gentleman that owns this building is trying to get as much information as he can for the reunions and just to keep records so keep the history of this place alive so you come in here this is where the secretary for the principal probably would be sitting a little desk here with a back then it probably wasn't a computer if it was it was not like computers today there's the old remote molding is still up in good shape and like i said it's already he's already been doing a little bit of stuff inside go through here into the next office this might have been where you got your paddlings I don't know but <laughs> there was one room next one down I think it was the teacher's lounge he said this is just a little storage room and electrical power electrical room for the network and probably the PA for the throughout the classrooms back into the main hall there. And a little, little bathroom. Look at this little wallpaper. And a little cottage wallpaper. And this is another part of it. Yeah, I think he said this is the, I think he said this is the teacher's lounge. 
places and where they'd sit and drink coffee and whatnot. Coffee drinkers lounge. Now we're back out to the main hall. Maybe we'll check these classrooms out. Some of these had lockers in them, some cabinets, and just these little a wasp, big old wasp. And then for books and whatnot. Glass is still intact in this one. Some of them in other classrooms are broken, but those are still intact. And here there's a little chalkboard. And just remnants of this old school. It's just interesting to see this stuff in this great of a shape. I remember when I was in school, we'd have little special areas we'd put our books in our desks or there's there's shelving for extra stuff. There's special ed social studies. I got one over here for math. Those two are math. Special ed social studies. And this is a nice little we got special ed literature. So this looked like it was a special ed classroom. English grammar. And here I do a little bulletin board. And there's like the little transom that hinged down, opened up for airflow in the classrooms. And we'll go down to the next one here. See, there's some of these windows are broken. So, yeah, some people had been, had been in here before because you'll see a few little gra graffiti. Now, in this room, there's some stuff on the walls, but it's not graffiti. That was still left over from when the school was active. Like that on the wall there, that's left over from the school. Think, think, all choices have consequences. Very true. Yeah, it's in like this classroom you had all these lockers in the back. I don't remember seeing a school that had lockers in the classroom. There's still some stickers in some of them. People stuck in there. person's name written on the inside there. And there's the Safeway Pharmacy sticker. <laughs> and somebody's little remnants of their sticker. Sour grapes. Good job. Sit go. But these rooms are are huge. And these are for the fittings for the gas line for the heater. And on the floor, I think he said that somebody had come in here and had stolen the heaters or the fixtures, the heating elements, whatever, the copper, like they usually do in these old buildings that are abandoned or not seeing any use. And yeah, you can see where the cracks there, where the water is seeping through because of the no gutters on the, and like if you can see right there, right there, that's how close the highway is from the front of the school. And that up there. Is it worth the cost? That was uh, something that was original, still left here from the school. And 
old cabinets for books and whatnot. Now this right here, this was some graffiti that they have they were carving stuff in the chalkboard tray. through here is where water fountains were mounted and the pipes would come in through the there's a little space back there between two walls where the plumbing would come through and that's where two uh, two water fountains would have been mounted there or the hallway so you come down and I think there's another dual water fountains back at the opposite end of the hall there okay. Wanted to see maybe if we can find somebody that may still be here. You never know with old places like this. There's another classroom that has lockers in the back, and there's one that has the chalkboard that's still in very, very good condition. There's another locked transom windows that they just painted over closed up and painted over for whatever reason and then just like I said this building is in excellent shape now I just want to uh, say this right here that's from like I said earlier when he had mentioned about getting the new roof put on and then uh, they didn't put gutters on it so the water running down the outside you can see that right there and then down underneath the on the window sill of that one below that window. So I just wanted to let somebody know if there's somebody here that used to go to school here, we're just here just checking out your old school. And uh, you know, we don't mean to bother you. We're just here to check things out. And uh, see how things were back in the day at this, at this when you went to school here so if you would like to speak with me you can I'll be here walking around checking out all the rooms and what this school looked like and seemed to be like and enjoying the preservation of the history that's going to be taking place in this school to keep the history alive so if you're here and like to speak with me I'm here it's just a shame to see that somebody come in here and got done some of the damage that has been done. Luckily, it's not a significant amount. I'm just walking through and seeing the amazing that what what's left in these these classrooms. If you went to school here, what if you can tell me what year it was? I have some friends myself that went to school here. And if you remember what classroom you were in and what uh, what classes were what rooms and what teacher what taught what subject and which classroom just be kind of neat to know. To the, I believe he said it was the girls' bathroom, which for a little kid you would probably wouldn't think it was. You probably wouldn't think it was huge, and now you walk through here as an adult, you wouldn't think. But it is still a pretty good sized bathroom for a elementary school child. As I remember in the elementary school I went to, it was huge for. They got four stalls over here and around the corner. So, and if you, anyone here would like to talk and tell me some stuff about the, about the school that you remember, 
let me know. And that's where we went where the water fountains are out on the wall at the end of that pipe right there in that hallway. That's where the water fountains would be. And then four stalls on this side. here. I said I caught that earlier that was a star with a, somebody's name on it there. And the next student, Kimberly Bozant. If anybody knows who that is. See here's some more of the more of the damage from the rain. Getting down, look like somebody already tried to get this so they could get the window shut. And then another room with lockers in it. I think that's I kind of think that I remember that's the third one now that had lockers in it. Yeah, got a. Here's another star. It's got, it's got a name on it. Yeah, Toyin, Toyin Po. Let me see if that's a name that I've been, because I know somebody by that last name that went to school here, like I said. Here's another one. Randy McFadden. I don't remember what it was a uh, six through twelve. I saw that on a little cabinet earlier. And this, I think this is a paper towel. What it was for? I believe so. A paper towel holder. This goes back out to the. There's a little courtyard, it's like the school building's in like a, a U shape. So right here, this door is where we, we didn't come in there. But this is where it goes back out to where, this over here is where his, that was the old cafeteria building. That's where his restaurant is. And this looks like a little, this is the shape of the school right there, a little U shape. So we just came, we first started over there. I think we went in. I think it was, I think we came in right there, I can't remember. And is it in the hall? Another one. Cabinet looks like it's, the glass is still in it. And this one has cabinets in it. And there's still some stuff on the chalkboard here. Like I could diagram for some tables or something. There's nothing in there. Some There's some wasp nest in there. Like I said, all the, and some leaky spots on the roof. That's was probably before, from before they replaced the roof, because it's got a brand new roof on it now. As you can tell out this window. You can see the new roof there. I did an exit sign. So. And come back down. This one would go through here. 
Yeah, we came back through here. There's all the chalkboards, original chalkboards still left in some of the rooms. There's the bathroom. I'm going to go back to the other side. Down the, the main hall. cabinets in the back. There was the offices here. There probably would be a thing sticking off the top of the door saying office on it to let people know walking down the hall like I remember. And here was the like a notice board where they'd post announcements and stuff. And that's actual glass. And these entrance doors to this auditorium this regular old door and this is the main foyer here because this right here is the main entrance from the from the highway and that would probably have been where the and your parents were to drop you off i think he said earlier there was a place where the, the students would come in from bus or dropping off and they go when it was an alternative school they'd go through a metal detector at that door he we he showed earlier this one was one where i said he's already done some electrical work i think it's the old or the old vent lockers <laughs> another sticker go Bulldogs so if there's any any teachers that that taught here uh, we'd like to know we're trying to help help preserve the history of this place as best we can helping the owner of this place get information and just you know make it where it's documented and so people can remember this place for what it was and not just let it be a thing of the past just let it be known and still be relevant These old heaters. They said they'd come in here and stole some of them because of the copper in them. And now they've got this place pretty secure now because of the man that owns it. And hopefully, none of this ever happens anymore before they get a chance to do what they wanted to plan to do with it. Because I hate to see this place just go apart and it doesn't seem like it's going to. These are coat racks for pretty little kids. There's another vent. There's the chalkboard. I don't know if the chalkboard is still there. That's Yes, it is behind that piece of wood. So they put that up there to probably protect it. I made a bulletin board up, but the chalkboard is still there on that in, in this room. So that's a good thing. across this one looks like they took it off or oh, maybe yeah that's wood and yeah, maybe the, it's off on that one there's old more old for the gas lines or the heater 
boarded up windows. Yeah, you can see how damaged the from the rain pouring down on this. Okay, that's where we came in. Into the auditorium, that's right. So I saw outside that was little you can see the sidewalks out there. More lockers. Let's see if I can just find some more find some more names. There's a few we found so far. This is carry number three. So chalkboard taken off or that one. And yeah, in a lot of these classrooms they put carpet on top of the original hardwood floor, which seems like it's still here as well. And just there's some of the ceiling tiles in here have fallen, but there's not a lot. Doesn't seem like they have fallen. A lot of them are still intact. There's another another bathroom. Yeah, I just I just we were talking to this Brit is his name that owns this place and we were talking to him and coming over here and he was told us about he was wanting to restore the place. And uh just wanted to kind of help him and get this word out. There's got some where well, they stored books, look like grammar and language workbook, eighth and ninth grade. Reading workbooks, eighth and ninth grade. Middle school grammar. High school grammar, ninth and tenth grade. This one's grammar workbooks, seventh seventh grade, high school, tenth grade. So this was all the way up until, I guess, for the alternative school because it was an elementary school, and I guess the alternative school it was for all grades. If you were, you know, got in trouble in school, they brought you here. There's a, there are two more water fountains. Come back. On the other side, a little storage access to plumbing. And it goes down there, a little subfloor basement. And there's some stuff down there. This is access to the plumbing. And it goes up into an attic up there. So we won't be going up there. There's a little wash basin for maybe been in a janitor's closet. They had the mop buckets and stuff. They're cleaning a bit. There's a somebody's in there. Blake Richardson, 52605. <laughs> Somebody writing their names and the dates on the walls. And they're still here. So if uh, anybody knows Jerry, Lydia, or Jenny, and Blake Richardson, KRS was here on February 28th of 03. There's another one. It's got some gra graffiti on the wall. Another one. Yeah, this is just the people are inconsiderate of other people's stuff and just, you know, obviously don't care. Now these, a bunch of these are closed. I don't remember being at a school where they had lockers in the classrooms, all, completely one wall. 
But in here is a, there's still a few that can't make it out. There is still some writing on there. I tried to erase it, but it's still visible, but very faint. And I think and this is the other bathroom on the other side, so the boys' bathroom. So the boys' bathroom was over here on this side, and the girls on the other. So if you had class over there, you had to walk all the way over here to the other side. There, oh, in the mirror. come through the back out to the back to the courtyard but that's basically it it's uh, still in good shape the I mean everything's you know old paint but that's that's nothing you know like I said he's going to fix it up not to a full hundred percent restoration because of the cost of the windows but he's going to restore it what he can. And like I said, half. So they have reunions here and some other stuff. <laughs> this is in a, still in an excellent condition. School. So we'll go. Looking more into the well, here the old game time poster. See if I can find a date on it. That says for the Cheetos, that was 1992. That there says copyright 1993. Well, the school was active then. Now I'm still here looking around. I'm gonna check this place out. We're gonna kind of do a basic run through here before we head back out. I get the courtyard here. There's still some. Uh, We're here at the, almost at the end of this video. I just want to go see this back behind. This is all original seats in this auditorium. This is where we came in, or to my right. And we just walked through this old school that's in the process of being restored. And it's still in excellent shape. I mean, you know, it has some water damage on the walls and inside the walls below the windows in the classrooms, of course, where the, they replaced the, uh, had the roof replaced, but they didn't put any gutters. So the water runs right straight off and down the windows, and it's coming inside the windows and getting the, taking some of the walls out and the old stucco stuff on the walls. But other than that, there's, there's a carpet on top of the wood floor. I don't know what the purpose of that, that was, but the hardwood floors under the carpet still seem to be fine in all the rooms. And like I said, this place is in excellent shape still. It just has a um, going to be turned into something that's going to be useful because he wants to he wants to be able to have it for uh, people that went to school here to come here for reunions and have uh, plays and some other stuff functions going on in here and it be used. So we're going to go outside and walk around the perimeter and get a show you the shot of the front of it. It's a cool looking little gable, and we will uh, come back through here and we'll end it end it up out there and see what the, the outside looks like and show you too. Let's head back outside. Let's see what this there we've got the Corner there's the windows where uh, you see and then the vents for under the under the floors down into the into the basement probably where all the access is for the uh, plumbing and underneath. And we we'll walk over here and saw something cool. It was 
It looked like them. See, there was a it did have it did have gutters on it at one time. As you can see where they were at the wall, and then there's a there's a drain water runoff. And then the sidewalk here, and then there's one in the corner. There used to be there. You can see where they're bolted on the wall, and then for the water runoff. And then over here, I thought this was cool. It looks like a there's another water runoff from gutters that were there. And this is access to the uh, to the inside under the under the floor. And this here is a little water trough for maybe there were fountains here or just for wash your hands. There's a little a little pipe there. Maybe for recess when you come up here. There's another water runoff. And this would have been another entrance right here. I don't know if we went into that. There's the sidewalk. I got other. See, there's. So it did have it did have gutters on it one time, but I guess he who he had put gutter put the roof on didn't put gutters because as you can tell, it did have gutters on it at one time. So this is an entrance to. I don't know if we went down to that that room or not inside. This all here's a building that I believe he has in it. Uh, his business. That's where we came out, I believe, right there. That's the back where the bathrooms are at, and then his uh, business. And this was the rest of the property out here on the back side of the school. And there's some there's a window unit in there. So we're gonna go back around here. And to the left. So it was that big classroom. Okay, so that was the other. There's a back entrance to this end of this. So uh, this part of the school. This wing, I guess you'd say. Go off to the left here, and then we're seeing the doors. They're chained on the inside. So that door right there is where those stairs were we just at on the outside. So you could come in here. There's a bathroom here, two classrooms, and I, uh, I believe that up there, but that was a a uh, janitor's closet. You got a classroom here, classroom here. And back out here, here's the, the water fountain. So this is the main hall. So that was the entrance to this end, and there's another one on the other end, I'm sure. So we're going to go back here. And back out to the auditorium so I can get a new battery. So we'll come back here. There's an auditorium and back outside. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We're back on the back side of the school now where we just came in. This is where some of the classrooms were when we went around on the back side. Now that come around the corner here you'll be able to tell where I was at. There's a windows and the classrooms there there was a floor and you can see the vents there for the basement but i wanted to come up here and this is the main reason walk around the outside to see the <clears throat> the entrance this has got a cool looking entrance where the name is at and everything but you can see how how bad the windows are i'm gonna plan on replacing them but they were gonna 
cost too much and he's still going to do something to him to some extent but you know we're coming around the front Whew. and as you can tell there were gutters on it at one time you can see where they were bolted to the wall and then the runoffs there it's, uh, the windows are, you can see where the window seals are, got a lot of rot in there where they, when they replaced the new roof, why they didn't put gutters on, that's just not, to me that would be a given. You come out here, the flagpole's still here. See where they used the flag? fly the flag there and this is where the entrance would come little kids would come into school there and there it is and you've got the WW Elder School there and you can come up and walk in get up the steps we're going to come into school we had the windows there on the side. So this is the outside main entrance. And we'll come around, go around the other side. And we'll come down. You see the, so the wing, centrally located offices and then classrooms off to both sides. And then it had a one, one hallway had, had a turn. And that was pretty much it. And then the building where I just came out of uh, was his uh, wine business he has. That back which that building used to be the old cafeteria attached to this uh, school. And we're coming around the front corner, right around to the back to where I was earlier. Where I went back in and showed you these are the classrooms. So there was that one door the stairs I went up from outside <clears throat> and this is all just in front, right off the highway like I said the highway is 40 feet from the front of the school so yeah this uh, gentleman's trying to get this place restored and save the preserve the history of this place you just come back around these remnants of the sidewalks here. And back over there, and back to a rear parking lot. And that building there was the uh, cafeteria. And there's a, there's a staircase we went up earlier that goes into that hallway on this end, the front. Looking at the front of the school, this would be the right uh, side. And there's a bathroom and classrooms right there and then before it goes down to the main hall that goes across the front and this is where we entered when we first went in this leads to the auditorium back up in here and this led back into the auditorium Or just, I mean, as often as all the original chairs still here and everything is still in excellent shape. So, you go back out. Okay, come in here. And, I reckon there's a breezeway that's back behind. Now we're on the back side of the auditorium. And this is a uh, boiler. I thought that was a chimney, but it's not. And it's had some kind of a little okay it's going now we're on the back side of the auditorium here and that's hard to pull open they like some kind of a <clears throat> equipment room maybe and here's another, is on the other side where a little courtyard looks like. Like I said, it has 
this part is open that goes down into the it's like the basement oh yeah like water in it but this is the old boiler room that's from around the corner we're on stairs and the old boiler for the heat and the heat exchanger with the tubes and got your staircase from around the corner behind me Yard out here. It went around, and there's the classrooms. And here was on the other side. We go into the other side with the two classrooms and a bathroom, just like on the other side, where I had said the girls was on this side and the boys was on the other side. <clears throat> no, what if they would use this for like a playground or what this was? Maybe I'll have to find that out. But this, this is his business he has here. Like I said, this is the old building that the cafeteria was in for the school. So we're going to go back in the back way. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell. And uh, I'll find places like this all the time. This was a gym here. So I just wanted to make sure I got this and brought this to y'all because of the state that this school is in and especially because he's interested in preserving the history of it, it was the main thing and the lack of uh, burglars or whatever that has been coming in it that's you know not been that much and some windows are broken my people's eyes have gotten in but it's not near damage that's uh, places like this that usually are because they're usually you know graffiti to the Tens, and so I'm glad I got a chance to get this and was allowed to come in this place. So uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and comment. And I, uh, if you have any more information on this school or other places that uh, like to come, I find places like this all the time. So uh, that's it for this video. Well, we'll see you on the next explore.